Mommy's gonna vlog now, okay? Which one? Book it. I love you. I love you. Hey. You don't love me? Hello and welcome back to my vlog. It's been a minute since I've picked up the camera. That's because a lot has been going on. But before we get into it, can we have a minute for my mug? My Harry Styles mug. Thank you very much. And another disclaimer, I do have heath here, so you will be hearing little spouts of pork troll lingo going on there. So please do excuse that. But let's get into it. We've immigrated to England. We are currently living in Falmouth, Cornwall, which is so back to why we are all here. As you can tell from the title of this vlog, we have moved to England. Tom and I decided Thailand wasn't enough of an adventure and let's just turn our lives upside down and move to England. <laughs> um, which is really funny because if you told me last year that we would be living here, I would have absolutely wouldn't have believed you. Mainly because we never thought we were the type of people to immigrate from South Africa to England. Um, like Heath is such an outdoors child and we love the weather and we love like our family being there obviously um so it, it was very sudden a very um yeah just very a sudden decision we put our application in got our visas and now we're here we are living in film cornwall and it is truly the most perfect place for our family it's a small little coastal town in england um and one of the reasons why we decided to settle here is because something that was important to us moving here um, and the main reason why we didn't decide to stay in London is because we really wanted to give Heath that the, like the same lifestyle that we would have had in Cape Town so like going outside, being near the sea was really important to us and um, having space in the garden um, <sighs> Yeah, here we are. And funny story though, we were only supposed to stay here a month and the plan was to rent a car and go explore all the towns around Cornwall, but we came after we came here after like a really busy travelling time. Um, we had like an 18 hour flight and then a six hour train ride. So when we arrived we were just like this is amazing. And we just both felt like this was home. It was kind of almost instant as we came off of the train. We were just like, no, this is home. This this is where we're gonna stay. So it's been lovely. It's been really nice. We've been super lucky. We found a rental pretty much straight away. And the whole process from start to finish of like deciding to go to England, getting our visas to being here, everything has just happened so easily that it's definitely felt like the world has been helping us along and just been like affirming those life decisions so cheers to that i did want to cover a few questions quite a while ago i put up a question box on my instagram you can go ahead and follow me over here and um, just a few questions about you know why we're we doing this move and like the process so i'll take you guys I'll take you guys through why we decided to move and you know what we needed to do. Um, let's start with the why. Why we decided to move to England is pretty straightforward and I think it's pretty much the same reason a lot of South Africans move from South Africa to England. Um, we wanted more opportunities for ourselves and for Heath. Um, we just wanted like more of a secure lifestyle, I guess. Um, but mainly we just wanted a bit of an adventure and we didn't want this opportunity to come and go and it'll be something that we regretted when we were older or when Heath turns 18 we were like oh shoot should have done that so that he could have gone overseas easier so that's why we've done it nothing too interesting there I do miss home a lot I'm super homesick and I'm finding it really hard to adjust but we'll get there. I mean, we've only been here for three weeks, so we still have time. Then something that's also just been strange is just like getting used to the pounds and exchange rate. We're still we're still earning rands, so we have to convert everything. Um, and we're gonna have to get new jobs and figure out like where our GP is and 
figure out the public transport. So it's a lot of things that are quite different to home, to Cape Town, but a good different. Definitely a good different. I hope that answered the question of why. And in the how, Tom luckily could get his visa through his ancestry visa. His grandfather was from Scotland, so we applied through that. And that was such a simple process. Um, I think we and our family were expecting it to be a whole big process. We decided we wanted to move to England in June when we were still in Thailand, actually. We were just like, oh, let's just try and apply, see what happens. Probably won't work out and just let's just see what happens. Um, and our whole family was like, yeah, cool, sounds great, but I'm, you're not going to go. And then our application, like our pre-application got approved. Then we started the ball going there and we thought, okay, well, it's going to be like six months from here. Don't know much of a timeline. It's going to be a process. And then from the time our application was in at the UK visa place, um, we I think it took about seven working days until we had our passports in our hands, ready to go. So it definitely happened really, really quickly. If you are thinking about immigrating from South Africa to England or to the UK, I do highly recommend working with an agency. We worked with an agency who I'll link below. And even though we were 100% able to do it ourselves. It was just nice to have someone to sit through the whole process with us and like make sure our documents were up to scratch. And if there was something we were missing, she would be able to tell us like, hey, we need this. And or like, this is what you need to say here. So that was really nice. Um, she also did all the payments for us, which was super great. I did make a faux pas though when we were paying for our visa that I missed a notification from Standard Bank saying is this fraud or not and my card kept getting declined so that was really scary um, <laughs> if you do apply for your visa make sure to check for any notifications like that because you do not want your card blocked when you are char getting charged a considerable amount of money believe me um, but yeah I think we were very blessed that it happened super quickly um, and like I said earlier, it definitely felt like everything was just happening the way it needed to happen. So for example, the fact that our visas happened so quickly and so easily and without much of a hassle and the way that our Airbnb and living situation just fell into place. Um, and when we were applying for our visa, we actually wanted to stay in Plymouth for a month. That's what we put in the, the application. Um, but because we weren't sure of how long it would take for our visa to be approved, we cancelled our Airbnb booking kind of straight away. We only had it for the application. And then when it came to rebooking it, it was gone, that, that specific Airbnb in Plymouth. So it's, it's just very strange how things have happened that way. It's like if that hadn't been cancelled, we would have stayed in Plymouth and we would have really didn't like Plymouth when we passed through it. So we would have had to stay there, but then Tom found an Airbnb in Falmouth for a month. And the plan, like I said, was to use this as a home base and then we'll go and travel around. The original plan was to stay in Newquay, but when we arrived here, it just felt like home. So it's, just, it's, it's been a lot of weird things like that where it's happened where these signs have just been like, this is where you need to be. Even before we came over here, when we did a trip to to Plate and um, the Eastern Cape, there were all these strange signs of just like, I don't know, I don't want to get into it. It was just very strange. It, it just felt like the whole world was pushing us to this direction. And now we're here and we're so happy. And it's it just feels really good to feel like the world's trying to help you along your path and you're listening to it. But that is my, <laughs> my spiritual thing done for the day. If you believe in that, I hope that all made sense. There are a few things we still need to figure out, like where we're going to be sending Heath to nursery. That's probably the biggest thing on our list that we need to suss out. We do want to buy a car when we're here, but we have to wait until we're in our, our house. So we have to wait to have a permanent address to get a bank account set up and a car. So hopefully that'll be done in two weeks. Comment below if you guys want me to video that whole process of like finding our house, 
decorating our house because you know, you know I'm doing an Ikea haul for sure. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you want to see that or what kind of content you want from that. I'd love to hear it. A big goal of mine in 2023 is to be a lot more aware of my vlogging. <laughs> Because so much has happened in the past three months that I would have loved to have captured and it would have been so nice to have those memories but it just wasn't a priority as one could understand. You know we had had a few things going on but I'm already hoping 2023 is the year of the vlog. I've already filmed another vlog today before sitting down so stay tuned for that one. I'm really hoping to post at least one video a week. Um, and get into that schedule because last year I was getting into a good rhythm of things so hopefully we can pick that up again and like I said before please 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 comment below what types of videos you'd like to see from me and my family um, one last piece of big news not a pregnancy announcement sorry uh, but I am starting studying to become a sex and relationship intimacy coach this year so ooh. That's going to be a big part of my year too. I'm really excited to take you guys along that, like through that whole journey. There's just a lot going on. I think 2023 is going to be a really productive year. And I think 2024 is going to be the year where we start reaping the benefits. So yay, positive thoughts. <laughs> if you have any questions about sex and relationship intimacy coaching, do get in touch. You can pop me a DM on Instagram or you can comment below and we can, we can chat about it. So. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope that answered your questions. And if you have any questions about immigrating, yeah, again, feel free to reach out. I'm always here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.